what's up what's up we are here today at one of my favorite spots ever and you know most of the time i do come out here i get channel cats but you know i have also caught small mouth here you can catch a large mouth out here you can catch a a buffalo you can catch gar you can catch flatheads i mean carp but what we're going to do is just start throwing some things like i don't even have any night crawlers and i should have got some because i feel like i might have messed myself over but i have these right here i have these strawberry baits right here do i think they'll work maybe maybe not but you know what the only way to find out is to do what throw them so long as that hook is exposed we're gonna see i might have to i will most likely put a bigger hook on here but let's see what we can do y'all first cast i might need another what's the name out there though i will need another split shot on there because it ain't go nowhere i right, got them got one i got one off the strawberry uh carpin channel cat bites oh he fighting a little hard on me there you go boy it's been a while since i fought a catfish and some current yep all i did was just took the bobber off instead and just let it drift at the bottom and got him this is 14 pound test so i'm not really worried about that too much but boy is he fighting me hard boy is he fighting channel cats in this current ain't no joke there will be a lot of channel cats caught today y'all some real good decent ones too Whew. boy what a fight what a fight is he this little dude giving me that's what i'm talking about strawberry dough baits this is exactly what i'm using right now see exactly what i'm using that channel cat slammed that little thing nice channel cat now i forgot something i forgot a few things i forgot to get my uh my pliers so this is about to be a work of art oh yeah this is about to be fun right here oh got it Ooh, I want to keep this guy. I think I'm going to keep him. I think I'm going to actually keep this fella. All right. There you go. Ugh. He's going to try to... Can't swim for me. Can't swim for me. Yep. Put that right. And he gets to go nowhere. All right, y'all. Let's see what else we can catch. All right, y'all, so like I said, I'm using these strawberry um, prepared dough baits right here. Made for cart and catfish. And all I'm doing is taking a little catfish hook right here, like real small, it's a, like a one-eye, two-eye offset hook. All I'm doing is just piercing this uh, strawberry bait right here. Just like that, we got three split shots right there for weight. Uh, what we can do, I'm gonna move these up a little bit. But this is what we're using for our weight. Is these split shots yep just like that and we just cast this out here let that current take it from here and all the way down that way and that's how we get the catfish and what we do we just sit here and we don't do nothing special we just feel for the bite that's it and you will know you will definitely know it'll be more like a pat 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 got him got him off the strawberry dough baits we feel a lot stronger I love looking at the tip of that rod, Ben. <laughs> I got some dip bait, too, I'm going to throw out here, too. Boy, but see, when you fight them against the current, it just make a five-pound channel cat feel like you're fighting something around 15, 20 pounds. It's not like he's super huge, but boy, the fight's going to feel like that for sure. It's called angry. Yes, that's all right. Oh, yes, that's what I'm talking about. Yep, he took that boy. Let's see if I can get another one. I put two on this time just so I can try to get them. The one wasn't working. I put two and got one on as soon as I put two on. So, But if I ain't got to spend no money on night crawlers and stuff to get some, some fish, then by all means, I'm down. I don't know about you guys, but uh, after a while, that stuff can be coming just a, a real crazy expense. At least four of these would be perfect. I don't need that many, just four. Literally, four of these. I don't want no more. And then I, I can, I won't take no more. But I'm only taking four of these, that's it. Then the rest of them is just fishing for fun, you know? Got them, coach. Oh, yes. Love fighting fish in the current. Yes, 14 pound test, what can we get? Make sure my drag is always set for 
that specific run just in case whoa this channel cat got some backbone do he oh there you go he's coming in here right by the fish oh he's put oh 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 that current action yes there we go you can see the strawberry bite right there the dough bait that's the correct terminology of it is these are actually strawberry dough baits um made by magic baits and i know people said they they don't ever catch fish off that and all this other stuff but you know if you go at the right spot right time you can get all that good old luck and i'm getting splashed dramatically by a channel cat who is so upset with me and one thing i can't say i like about these baits is i have caught carp on them too is they don't come off the hook that easy i mean they when i say they start uh, dissolve slowly they dissolve extremely slowly and they got a lot of strength so when i throw this out there it's slamming up against those rocks and it ain't coming off that's a good sign you know here we go in the current hardcore i had to switch up some things because i feel like i wasn't really getting the action i deserved so i had went to a jig head literally with the weight on the bottom of it to control that weight a little bit more and just so i can cast a little bit farther seems like this is a real nice fish there you go channel cat came up and slammed that it's not gonna happen it's over with say hello to your friends they all sitting right here waiting there we go yes sir oh there we go seems like he's been I think a lamprey got a hold of him. Yep. Them lampreys down here. And there's a lot of lampreys that be down here too in this area. And they get a hold to a catfish in a heartbeat. So we have four, like I said. And we about to get this catfish slime on it since it's so extra this time. Uh, there's a lot of crawdads swimming in this water too. Lots of them. Lots of them. You come down here, you lose night crawlers. You almost you 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 might as well just stay until the bait is gone because you will, you will get a bite every second. But that's all right. I'm actually doing fairly good considering what I got. You know, so I ain't too mad. I just watch that bobber go all the way down there and just wait until the fish bite it. You know what I'm saying? Fish bit that four different times. Almost every time I got a bite, I caught it. So I ain't miss a fish yet that actually bit. So I just wait, see what the case is going to be. Watch it float all the way down. The, once it get to a certain point, the sun do get in my eye, but that's all right. As long as we can see that. And we just see it. We just, you know, wait till the bobber disappear or feel for the thumps. Here we go. We got a fish on. Ah, there we go. Woo. There we go, man. Love fighting these channel cats. Love fighting these channel cats. Uh, love fighting these dudes. Come on, bro, I'm not worried about you. Look at him, he fighting too. Uh, come on. Dude, he is fighting. Come on. Got you. Got you out that current. It's over with, big dog. Just admit. I'd outsmart you. I said I was going to take four, but you know what? Bump that. And plus, I've been feeding for some catfish anyways. By the way, last night I was making some King Cobra drift weights by Chris Flores, man. I had one of that Captain Mad Jacks, and I made a few of them. And I was going to use a couple of them today. We might just give it a shot see what it, see what it's like. You see the jig head, right? I mean, you can see the uh, split shot jig head, the two baits, and then there's a... There's a um, blade right there that spins too. Kind of gives them, gives it a little action. But all I'm doing is just watching it sit up here. Oh, oh, oh! That was a quick bite. Yes, that was. Oh man, there's a lot of action going on right there. All right, here we go. Oh, come on, got him. Caught him slipping. Uh, come on. Boy, he is swimming towards me, then swimming away from me, then swimming. Wait, come on, dude. Come on. Stop playing the game. Stop playing the games and get up here. This little channel cat got some fight in him. Boy, I don't care. See, I don't care what y'all say, boy. That current is serious, dude. Man, this little ass catfish. 
This old little catfish right here made it feel like I was fighting something extraordinary, man. But one thing about these channel cats, it's like when they when they when they know you about to when they know you moving them around, they act crazy. How am I supposed to put y'all on? Okay, how am I supposed to put y'all on a cha chain if y'all won't let me? That's it. That's it for taking catfish home. Other than that, it's not it for just having a good old blast out here. Got him. Oh, this is a bigger fish. Or maybe he might just be tiny fighting in that current. Oh, I gotta make sure my drag is loose because he kind of took off a little bit harder than the mo other fish. So I have to be careful. I know I got 15 pound line on here, but that still ain't got nothing to do with uh, catching the fish in the current. Boy, he took he took me for a spin with this. Mm. Look at that. Look at that. Right in the corner of the mouth. That's what I'm talking about. Got it out. You can see it was in the corner of his mouth, but bam. Right there. That's what I'm talking about. Whoo! Yeah. It's a real decent channel cat caught like that. You know what I'm saying? Off of some dough baits. Let's get him out of here. He's gonna be ready to go. He's going to dart. There's a lot of crawdads in here too. There you go. That current, look at that. That current is taking his butt on down, boy, I told you. All right, y'all, here we go with the push button. Look at that, with the push button. Y'all see what I'm using in my hand? Whoa. I'm using the old school push button, y'all. Y'all can say whatever y'all want to say, but boy, is this fun. I don't even know what size what pound line this is i would say this is probably 10 pound test or maybe 15. but yep i'm hooked up on yeah i would say this is more like 15 pound test there you go you got a real healthy healthy channel catfish look at this thing boy it's always a hook great it don't have to be a circle hook to be a great hook set I promise you that now yep got it out there we go let him go. Let's let him go. Oh, this one got some weight to it. Huh? I do not want him to come off right now. He's nice. He's not even trying to come from the bottom. And he ain't Hank. He ain't. He's not. Uh, he's definitely not snagged on anything. That's for sure. You seen it? <laughs> oh, that's a really good fish. Off these little strawberry dough baits. That don't make no sense. Oh, what, dude, that's gotta be about a 10 pound. Oh, his head is huge. Oh, yes, this is a good channel cat. Come on, oh, yes. His head is, that's a fat old channel cat. Dude, yes. It came right out of his mouth easy. I would have lost him. Wow. Look, right here in the corner of his mouth. You see where the hole is at? Came right out easy. GoPro, but let's get him out of here. He's a little aggressive. That's what you call a channel cat right there. Off some dope bait. Don't even got a scale. I would guess he about 10 pounds. Probably a little bit less because he on the slimmer side, about nine. High, about high nine, maybe low 10. There you go. Dude, he was so aggressive. He was so mad. <laughs> wow, just think little tiny dough baits. 